Okay, welcome back. You are now looking at the social media platform, Pinterest. And obviously Pinterest is a couple of – there are a couple of distinguishing factors about Pinterest. First, the user base is primarily female, 75 to 80 percent. Secondly, the user base is primarily interested in images on a social level. Now, most of what Pinterest is used for – is branding however you can you use Pinterest successfully to get traffic back to your website if you can create and put forward uh, interesting images now what I'm going to show you how to do here is how to edit a pin or a photo that you're going to be uploading to your account because that's going to be the most important thing that you're going to be doing now obviously you are going to pin an image and I'm going to just click this uh, I'm going to click this button right here And the, actually, that's your profile. What we're going to do is just click the Pro button, and we're going to upload a pin. We're going to choose this image from our hard drive. Now, what we're going to do is once we get our image there, is we want to we want to write our description. Now, this is going to be just like any other internet marketing activity that you're engaged in. Once you understand your niche and once you understand who you're marketing to and who you're trying to show these images to, you want to make sure that your description is keyword rich right here. You want to make sure that you're adding it to a pen board or a board that is keyword rich because that is going to help you to have your images found even within Pinterest. Now obviously we're using a sample image here and we're not really doing a real image uh, but we are going to want to make sure our description here is keyword rich. I'm going to just write in a so once we have our pen, what we want to do is we want to edit that pen, and we want to edit it so that we can then direct people that click the image or want to find out more about it back to the source. And in this case, we're going to put a link back to our blog. Now, when we are writing these descriptions, one of the things you want to do in, in consideration to your, uh, to your blog is that you want to direct link not back to the home page, but you want to direct link either to an offer or to a pre-sale page. Now, a pre-sale page is going to be pretty important, especially when you're using image traffic uh, because you want people to make the association in their mind to whatever it is you're going to want to do when they, when they get to your page. Your description we've already written. So all we've done is we've edited the pen that we just put up, and we have put it, um, we have direct linked it to this website now. And once again, we would do it to a particular page. We're going to save our changes. And so now everyone that clicks on this image, right, they're, they're going to, uh, they're going to click this image. Let's send. They're going to get access to the image. And then what they're going to do is they're going to have the opportunity to visit the site. So your objective in Pinterest is going to be the same thing as it is in any other social network, and that is to make people interested in your profile. One of the ways in which you do that is to post images that are relevant and that will give people a desire to either find out more about you or to click on the on the website back to your uh, back, click on the link back to your website. Now, in particular, for internet marketing products, Pinterest is not as effective as it is when you're working in other niches, such as weight loss, relationships, health and beauty. All of those things are very visual. Internet marketing is not very visual unless you really are creative in terms of how you draw people in. But these niches up, uh, that, that work well on Pinterest drive lots of traffic back to blogs outside of the internet marketing niche. And that doesn't mean that you can't do internet marketing products or internet marketing blogs back to your website, but these particular ones don't necessarily work extremely well. Now, there's one other thing that you want to take note of when you start talking about trying to drive traffic with Pinterest. You want to follow people based on your interests. So one of the things you're going to do is you're going to do a search just as you would in any other social platform, and you want to find out the people who are interested in your particular subject. And what you're going to do is you're going to follow these people so that they have the opportunity to follow you back and to see your pins. 
Of course, this is the in in this respect, you have Pinterest that has its own algorithm and how many times people are going to see your pins. But what you are trying to do is to connect to people who are going to be interested in your offer. So when you do a search like this, you're going to find people who are interested in these low carb uh, meals. Right, so these are going to be ideal people if you have a low carb offer, right? That you want to connect to because you want to start showing them images of things that they have expressed an interest in. You want to make sure that the people that are connecting back to you, they're going to see some of these images that they are going to be interested in. So that's the way you find people that are going to be interested in the topic or the subject that you are marketing in. And then you want to then show them images that will lead them back to your website just like we did in the other, uh, in the other screen there. One of the other ways that you can find out find other people who are going to be interested in your particular subject is to click the boards area and start following these boards because this is going to give you uh, images and it's going to give you the people who are commenting on those images because those are going to be the people that once again you want to connect with and you want to connect with them as 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 their interest grows in the subject because you obviously want them to opt into your list you want them to buy from you once they are on your uh, email marketing list Okay, the last thing you're going to connect with, of course, you're going to connect with pinners. Okay, these are people that uh, pin about things that are low carb. Once again, you want to look inside of these boards and their followers. Consider that following as a community because those are going to be the people, again, that you want to connect with with your subject matter. And Pinterest is a great way to do that because people gather around uh, from the perspective of looking at images and not necessarily written content. And so they are shared more readily on social media and you are going to get more exposure uh, to your postings. Okay, but the key is to make sure to use the search from the beginning and to get relevant people added to your Pinterest board. And as you get more and more relevant people, you'll start to see more and more relevant results when you go into Pinterest and meeting people for the first time and being able to connect with them. You want to make the most of your time on Pinterest and social media. So Pinterest is like any other social network. Your task is to make people interested in your images, make them interested in your profile, and then get them clicking on your images because those images are going to take them back to your website directly. Remember, you want to make sure that you're linking directly to a page where they can take some kind of action. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next video.